Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Sean and this is Science Hunters where we at VML Health talk about science articles that recently came out that we're super excited about that we think can impact health that we think can affect how medicine is done in the future. Uh, so what I'm going to talk to you about today is something known as gene editing. Now this is a concept that many of you may be familiar with, uh, specifically with all the news going around about CRISPR. CRISPR is a very powerful technology. It won the Nobel Prize. Um, it recently was behind um, some medicine, some new brand new medicines that have been released in benign hematology. Uh, it's going to have impact beyond medicine. It's going to affect agriculture. Uh, really, what CRISPR can do is limitless. Uh, what CRISPR does is it actually goes right into a cell and will change the DNA of a cell. And in a very specific place, you can target it to only change a little piece of DNA. It's really great. It's going to be transformative. It is, it's almost science fiction, really, uh, is the, the world we're living in these days. However, and this is where my however comes in, there are scary things about CRISPR. There are things about CRISPR and the way that it works that we have to be super careful about. It cuts your DNA, which is bad, okay? Cutting DNA usually can lead to mutations if they're not uh, repaired properly. It can lead to cancers if it's not repaired properly. On top of that, CRISPR is carried in by a virus, and if the virus inserts itself into some other piece of DNA, you can have effects that you don't really worry about. Now look, the CRISPR technologies that have been released in benign hematology have been studied to make sure they don't do these things. So I'm not casting any doubts on those therapies. I'm just saying as a class, CRISPR has limitations that we have to be aware of, okay? What if we could do gene editing in a different way that didn't involve cutting DNA, that didn't have this kind of underlying risk of mutation? Well, that's what the study that I want to talk to you about today. So in an article just released in Nature by a group in Milan, uh, they came up with a completely separate way of doing gene editing, and it does not involve cuts at all. I have to explain some of it so you can understand how it works. Uh, what I want you to know is DNA. You guys have all heard of it. Everybody here probably thinks of DNA as a sequence, A, G, C, T, T, A. We see it in pictures that way. But in a cell, that's not the way DNA looks. It is in a big structure. It's got proteins around it. And the DNA itself can have little molecules that have been pinned onto it that really help it create a structure and really regulate when it's being expressed and when it's not being expressed or when it's being turned into genes is what I mean by expressed, okay? So there are things going on on DNA when it's packed into a chromosome that we can target. And this group in Milan, okay, used a protein that will track directly to a specific DNA sequence and modify pieces of the stuff that are around the DNA. Doesn't directly affect the DNA itself, but it will mess with some of those proteins and some of those little chemical modifications that are on the DNA. And when you mess with certain chemical modifications, it causes the DNA to get really kind of closed and not turned on. And so this group in Milan developed this strategy and they targeted a gene that is involved in cholesterol metabolism and they turned it off and they found that they could lower cholesterol. These are in animal models. It needs to be studied in humans. There are groups using similar types of gene editing. And I should say, and I probably should have said already, this type of gene editing is known as epigenetic modification. So there are companies that are using epigenetics to do gene editing in this way. Some of them have advanced um, really pretty far along at this point. We might start to see clinical trials around some of this stuff. Um, it's super interesting. There's not the inherent risk that is involved in CRISPR. Now, gene editing is going to be with us. It's going to revolutionize medicine. And the fact that we have different modalities that are going to be able to do the gene editing and, in fact, have one that's not going to mess with any other part of the DNA, it's not going to damage the DNA in any way, that could be super interesting. So I thought this was really exciting. I think it could be really impactful in how we do medicine in the future. Uh, and I hope that you guys get excited about this, too. Um, I appreciate all your time. I appreciate everybody coming back and listening to these. 
I'm super excited to continue to do for do them for you. Um, and just remember until the next time, science rules guys. Bye.